Hey, YouTubers. Later in the shop. Well, um, doing another uh, video here on my um, project for my uh, top case. And uh, got a beautiful day, by the way. It's like almost 50 degrees. And it's gorgeous outside. But I'm uh, working on my uh, top case and I uh, come up with a couple of ideas I'm trying to now figure out how what I really want to do but um, I'd make some made some marks where the uh, LEDs are gonna come through if you will and it'll happen on this side and that side. In fact, let me grab something to pop that up. Uh, let me set this down for a second. Um, Alright, cool. That props it up good. Uh, and if anybody's uh, interested, uh, just a side note. I uh, had to replace my router and I had a Cisco router and it uh, had it for about maybe six months and it's one of the N900 uh, band dual bands and it died on me it just up and quit running so anyways I bought this Netgear one this R6300 um, and uh works pretty god darn good i didn't do nothing i mean this thing set up all i do is change my uh security uh wi-fi and my um <clears throat> shut down the uh ssid so it's not you know broadcasting but uh it uh worked pretty good it's working pretty good it was e really easy to set up but anyways i don't get off track here so anyways <clears throat> i just thought i'd throw a plug in there but anyhow, so I'm tired of buying cheap routers. Every time I buy a cheap router, I gotta buy another one. So about every year, every two years, I'm replacing a router. So um, this one here is a lot more expensive, but it's uh, got some huge, huge, great reviews and stuff. So, but anyways, anyways, back on track here. Um, kind of come up with a couple ideas on where to put the lenses at the LEDs. I mean, and I made. A couple of templates uh, one of them is and this is where my decision making has got to come in uh, one of them is showing it it um, the template shows for my hole to be cut um, goes all the way shows the LEDs coming through the plastic basically and um, The um, the uh, plastic chrome portion comes through the plastic with it, with the lens covering over top. And um, let me grab one of those lenses, kind of give you an idea of what it what I'm talking about here. Um, if you could picture it this high obviously but <clears throat> the lens would be uh, let's turn this this way let's turn it this way actually bring it to the edge that'll work better this is kind of what it would look like uh, give you an idea um, the um, and the LEDs would broadcast through this lens um, into the lens, not through it, but into the lens. But this would be through the plastic here. This is simulating the same thing. Or I could have it to where uh, I could have it that way, or I can have it just where the um, the LEDs 
are popping through the plastic. And I'm not sure <clears throat> which one I want to do. I'm not just not sure. that was like that so <clears throat> if I did it with just the lens the LED showing through uh, and I would have to figure out I'm gonna have to um, silicone uh, you know the kind of in between there and all that stuff and I don't know where around here maybe or something to, to adhere the actual body of the light fixture or if I uh, there we go it just disappeared okay, that's interesting. or the body of the um, the uh, light fixture unit Um, I would it would allow me to where that if that's sticking through then it would allow me to um, silicone the bottom half of the body and that's the only thing that would be sticking out of the uh, other half of the box the outside half the box inside half the box so I'm not sure what I want to do here. Um, kind of tossing it around, but um, it's kind of a slow process. Actually, I'm just having fun with what I'm doing. So um, I love it. <laughs> Yeah, that's going to work out really good. Um, so i got to make a decision. I'm not sure which one to go with. But anyhow, so that's where I'm at right now. <clears throat> if I put one of these templates up, I'll show you. Kind of, this is what it would look like. You can picture the LEDs through them holes. And that would happen, on, obviously, on both sides. Uh, or... I have this, and I think I actually will, I'm going to put. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna put it up to. Um, I think I'm gonna use this pattern, this pattern here, and where I would silicone this area here. This part would be inside, and this part would be protruding. Uh, from here to there, protruding um, through the plastic. I don't think that'd be half bad. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, I like it better than just the LEDs or this portion here sticking through because it doesn't give me a lot of surface to um, adhere it to if you will to adhere it to the plastic you know adhere it to here you know on the inside um, because it's got to go um, you know basically it'd look like that um, and I would be, in fact, let me see what that does here. Because that's the lip of the um, lid. And I don't want to cut into that, so I'm still below that. As long as I make sure that I... Make sure I, uh, yeah, I'm still below the lip there, so that's, um, 
It's going to work pretty good. All right. Anyways, that's where I'm at right now. So, just wanted to do another real quick video of what I got going here on this uh, continuing top box, my top case project. So, and by the way, uh, uh, everybody have a nice Thanksgiving and uh, eat lots of food. So, anyways, <clears throat> this is Vader out. Talk at you later.